So this is how I read the X. Okay. You see how oval that is or round, more roundish? This one's roundish. It does have a little cone right there. This one's cracked, so it'll be going in the house. These three I'll be setting in the coop in case that hen size is set. But this is it's more round. When I see eggs that are more round, then that's how I get my females. If the egg is what I call cone head, it's a cone head. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a rooster. I find out that I find out that um, in the summertime, I have more cone head eggs than I have oval shaped eggs, round eggs, sort of round. They're not completely round, they're just oval. This is how I judge the egg at the begin with. And it might not be 100% um, guarantee, but this is how I get my success of, of my hands. All these hands, this is how I judge them. Oh, I judged the eggs. So that one is cracked. It'll go in the house. It's oval. Um, excuse me. That's cone head, cone head, cone head. I don't know if you can tell. Oval. And if I can't really tell, because the more you look at it, the more it looks different. But I'll lay it down. And I'll stand back and look at it. When I stand back and look at it, I can tell that it's more uh, round, round shape, oval shape. I guess that's how you say it. It's round. And then that one's cone. And that's how I tell the difference in my eggs. And when I put them into the incubator, that's what I look for. So now we're heading into spring, and most of the eggs will be cone head. So, you could try that. This is what I do. Like this one right here. This is, um, uh, 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 go away. Go, 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 go. Um, this one right here, see, this one right here is kind of oval, but I'm, I also feel the end of it. If I feel it like a, a little cone on to the end of it, more than likely it's going to be a rooster. It's kind of questionary. Um, I find out if I have a little cone up there, and this one might be a hen. When I set it down, I look far from it, then it's more oval shaped. This is cone head, oval or roundish. And so that's how I tell, when I'm gonna tell my eggs, uh, judge them to be females, I look at the eggs. And then once again, if I keep looking at it, then sometimes the shape of the egg, it, it makes me question it. And then I'll lay it down and stand back a little bit. And then I could tell that it's more roundish than cone head. I got one hen that lays a huge eggs. But this is a good example of how you could tell how it's got a cone head to it. Cone head. Round. A roundish. Cone head. Brown. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on to the next video. <laughs> These hens are wondering what I'm doing. But this is how I, when I put my eggs into the incubator, this is how I judge it. And yes, I'll get a, I'll get a rooster every now and then. Um, I got, I got, let's see, one rooster was from um, a hen that was sitting on eggs. I knew it was going to be a rooster. I think that was handicap. Yep, that was handicap. <laughs> And then Senior, um, I've had him for a long time. I knew he was a male. And then Junior came along, and it was um, one of those ordeals of questioning the egg. And then, you know, sometimes you get these eggs, and you look at them, you're like, uh, I can't really tell. Now, if I was to judge this one right here, I would say, that's a cone head. And I feel it. I feel a little cone. And then I can lay it down and look at it. But when I have ones that's like that, it in 
ends up being a hen. See you on to the next video. So the ones that's more around, I've already marked them and put them in here. So when they lay more eggs, I don't have to really look at it. I just know leave those in here until I figure out where that hen is going to be setting at. And she's going to set, then I want to try to put some female eggs up under her. Well, this is my experience. This is what works for me.